Hey everybody, so I'm on a roll making videos tonight, and I figured I might as well make one for the Jeep too. So this is a little update. Um, just had a huge storm here. I, I really need to fix the roof up there, um, and I need to fix this door somehow, um, or build like a overhang over the door because when the water drips off the roof it bounces onto the concrete and it always gets into the damn shop from here and the roof leaks right here too and it just it gets everywhere and as you can see it just like pulls down here because the the garage floor is is curved to the center because there's actually a drain down there so but a little update on the jeep um i finished the passenger side floorboards um so this is all done you can see there's no more holes there, just a bunch of welds. I, let me turn on the light here, ran out of welding wire when I was doing back here, but uh, that is done. The, this is the cabin support or the cabin mount. This is what holds the cabin up over here on this side. So one bolt there, one bolt over here. Um, and I finished the welding back here, but I need to finish the welds right here. Um, and then add a little patch right there to finish this side. And then, you know, it's onto the driver's side. But anyway, the passenger side is pretty much done. Um, just need to grind up the welds a little bit because some of them are kind of thick looking. And then paint it, and then that's done. Um, one thing I did kind of screw up on that I need to fix is you see the two holes right here. And then there's another little, like, a hole. You can't really see it. It's where that wire is at the tip of my finger. Those are the mounts for the... Um, the bench seat, this uh, bench seat right here. <laughs> Stupid me, um, you can't see it, but there's a plate right here and a plate right there. Um, and I, I covered the holes. So I actually need to go underneath or at least uh, find the two, measure the two holes right here and measure this to find them again because I need to cut them out so I can actually bolt the seat back in. Um, and I'm going to make another video tomorrow showing you guys this, but, uh, cause I know everybody's probably tired of seeing, oh God, this looks like crap, you know, but <sighs> this is, it's, it's getting there. I, trust me. It's, it takes time to find what you need for this. Originally, my plan was to buy four pieces of bed. It was a Ford Ranger bed that Amazon was selling. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, it's 18 gauge and I gave the measurements and the only problem with that is it would be four pieces. So one, two, three, four, and I'd have to weld them all together and that's okay, I guess, but, um, it wouldn't be perfect. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm still kind of scouring the internet to maybe there's a bed like this or, you know, something like that. So unfortunately I can't find a bed. This is the whole reason why I'm rebuilding this one because there's just no eight foot j10 or j20 beds in virginia they're either beds are gone and people put like a flat bed in the back or um this one guy wanted 1300 dollars, as he called rust free um no it was rusting right here rusting right there they all do it um i'm not paying 1300 dollars or even 500 dollars for that so uh what i found and i'll show you guys tomorrow is a floor a bed floor from a 1990 uh, Dodge W250, it's called. Um, never heard of that Dodge. I have to actually look it up to see what it looks like. But uh, the guy had a Dodge W250, and um, he was actually going to replace the bed floor, but I guess he sold the truck. So he has the floor, and he doesn't need it. So he's selling it for $100. That is amazing. $100 for the bed floor. Perfect. And on top of that, when he cut it out of the other truck, the donor truck, he didn't, like, butcher it, you know what I mean? He actually drilled out every single uh, spot weld, you know, for the floorboard supports, and then he took it out. So it's not even cut. It's just the spot welds are, you know, drilled out, and the bed is, you know, it's, it's I can't even describe it. It's perfect. There's no dents in it. Uh, the underside, there's no rust at all. It looks like it came out of factory still, so it's perfect. And on top of that, from what I could tell, the bed supports are identical in position to this one. Um, it had a bed support up front, and it had another one like a few feet uh, behind it, and then it had two more, one here, one there, and then it also has two more bed supports in the middle. Now, those bed supports I'm probably going to have to cut out because this Jeep actually, the bed support is the center cross member, so um, I'm probably not going to be able to need those bed supports. I might actually be able to use them for this, though, you know, this one, but we'll see. 
Um, but I, I just can't wait to get that. Um, but I can't put it in right away. I'm going to lay it on top of here, you know, just to make a video and just to look at it and stuff like that. But um, it's probably going to be leaning up against the wall or something. But um, before I put that on this thing, I still need to cut like two inches of this outer wall, you know, on the bed, like I said I was going to do, you know, to clean, get that rust out. Um, before I do that, I need to clean these little panels, you know, the, the surface rusted panels, you know, one here, one there, the one down here, and this one, because it's easier access with the bed floor off to do that. So I need to clean those and paint them. Um, and then I need to wire wheel the drive shaft. I don't need to do it, but I'm going to, because I just want to kind of clean. I need to wire brush or wire wheel the differential to kind of clean it up a little bit, and then I'm going to paint it, you know, black like I did the frame. Uh, the frame over here has like a tiny little hole. I think it's actually where I'm pointing. There's a little hole right there that needs to be fixed. Um, the cross member has a tiny little hole in the bottom corner that needs to be fixed. Um, and I think that's it for holes on the frame. Uh, I finished the frame over here, so that's done. Now, another thing I need to finish before the bed floor goes in is this cross member where the Swiss cheese is, it needs to be replaced. Um, because the bed is right here and it actually sits on top of the cross member. So this cross member needs to be fixed. Then I need to fix this bed, um, this bed support or whatever, you know, because the bed is going to be sitting on top of that. I need to fix this and patch it uh, and paint it. Um, then I need to clean up the corners right here of the whatever rusted metal, you know, left over. Um, and I actually need to weld these corners back to that uh, beam right there because they're kind of wobbly a little bit. Um, and then I can put the bed floor in. So it's not that much work. You know, these little patches is going to be easy to fix. That little one here is going to be easy to fix. It takes like 30 minutes to do that. The Swiss cheese cross member, I can't find cross members that are that size. They're four, 4.5 inches by 50 inches long. And the lip on the cross member is two inches. So we're on the C channel. Um, I've called every iron metal shop here and it just seems like none of these shops do this stuff anymore. They don't bend or make uh, a C channel. They just have like pre-made C channel that they sell and then they call themselves a metal shop, but they don't actually do anything hands on. So that kind of sucks. I guess the country is just everything good that happened before I was born. We don't have that stuff anymore. So um, you see this, I have to fix this right here. But So what I'm going to do for the C-channel is I'm going to make my own um, a C-channel that is bent by a machine. You know, C-channel, is this is a C-channel, it's shaped, shaped like a C. A C-channel that's bent um, by a machine is stronger than one that's welded. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to make mine by welding it. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take two 90 degree angle plates, much like this one. This is 1 8 steel. I need to get uh, them in 3 16ths, which is probably it's like twice as thick as 1 8. But I need to get two of those 3 16th plates like that. And then I need to get a flat, like this piece right here, flat 3 16th plate. And I need to measure it, you know, based on, you know, the measurements of this. And I need to weld the three pieces together. So two 90 degree angles, there's a 90 degree angle there, 90 degree angle at the top, and then the flat piece in the center. And then you got yourself a C-channel. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'm gonna have to, because it's 316 stick, I have to weld both sides. So not just one side, I have to weld the other side as well. So um, like I said, unfortunately, that's not gonna be as strong as a, um, you know, bent C channel because see this is a C channel right here. It's not gonna be as strong as a bent one, but that's it's just gonna have to be like that. You know what I mean? Um and then that's that's my plans. So you know once I get that cross member fixed, I fix that upper portion on the top of the cross member and then I fix the little tiny you know silver dollar sized holes in the frame that I was pointing at then I can put the bed on uh, the bed floor. I cannot wait for that because once that floor is done and then the driver's side floor is done most of the rust as far as the major things will be fixed 
you know, then I'll down the road, I'll work on the, the side panels, you know what I mean? That have rust through them. Those are not important, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just getting the bed end, fixing the floors, taking the carburetor apart, cleaning it. Um, then I'm going to have to obviously fix the gas tank, but screw that. I'm just going to fix the carburetor, uh, put a gas tank on the hood and I'm going to drive down in the neighborhood, you know, with a two or three gallon tank on my hood. <laughs> I, I just want to drive the car just to get a feel for it. You know what I mean? And then I'll park it back in the garage and then I'll, you know, work on the other things that need to be fixed. So, but I'm getting there. Um, and I will update you guys tomorrow to show you the bed floor that I got. I am so excited. It has taken me months to find this. Um, and it's like the guy did all the work for me. He, he, he drilled all the spot welds out. He, he took it out perfectly. It's like, I'm actually shocked and it's only a hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? So anyway, you guys have a great evening. Thank you for watching.